It's another beautifully sunny day in the UK. Twenty one mile an hour winds. And pissing rain. Just debating which way to go. I've come from down there. My options are off the bridleway that way or up over that bridge there's a gravel track at the other side of that bridge where it's very tame and there might be dog walkers so I think we'll go this way and we'll go up Stoke Field and catch up a bit more there So I've just shot a whole thing that didn't record, <laughs> taking you through some of the upgrades that I've put or some of the things that I've changed on my bike. Um, so I'm looking a bit of a prick at the minute because uh, although it's really hot, it's been raining, so I'm out in my raincoat and I've been getting earache, so I've got a buff on my ears, um, but I'm comfortable, so I don't really care. So I'll just uh, take you a quick run through what I've got on the bike at the minute and I might do a bit more of an in-depth uh, review later on. So I've got, at the moment, the um, ISM PR PR 3.0 uh, split nose saddle so it's having loads of genital discomfort um, I'd upgraded last February from the factory fitted uh, Boardman to a Bontrager verse comp with a cut out um, it immediately felt like it made a big difference and I was really comfortable so I thought I'd fixed the problem but as time's gone on and I've done more miles and spent more time on the bike I was still getting a lot of soreness um, soreness sort of inside in the middle and sort of around the front genital area so I um, recently decided to try a Salitalia Lady Flow um, that had a wider cut out but it was actually um, it, more painful and I think what I was finding with because the the nose that kind of cut out comes to a, a close it was probably pushing all the tissue into that hole um, and yeah it was basically kind of crushing so after a big debate I mean I found this for 107 quid so it was a, a big consideration because I've not got tons of money but you know I spend a lot of time on my bike and I want to be comfortable and so far I have to say this has been a bit of a game changer um, it looks a bit weird but you know you, 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 I don't think when it comes to comfort you can really uh, quibble about stuff like that so I've got that I've also got a new bottle cage oversized bottle cage I can't remember I can't remember whether the brand is Blackburn or whether it's I'll check out and put it on the screen afterwards but yeah I've got a litre bottle this is the 750 mil but I've got a litre bottle which I use more in the summer if I'm doing longer rides um, and I found that with with the two standard bottles I, I just didn't have enough liquid so this came yesterday and I've got that on um, it, it actually doubles up for um, you can strap it to your forks and stuff for bike packing so you can get a tent on and you can uh, put a sleeping bag in it there's a lot of extra length on those straps um, also been I've mentioned these volcano highlights before now that we're in the winter and I've been using them 
uh, for a couple of night rides I can say that they are really good this is a thousand lumen front light um, I, I don't think there's loads of life on it if you've got it on full you might get an hour hour and a half out of it so you really need to consider how far you were going and plan that um, but for my purposes I mean I, I have them on flash all the time anyway just for safety and being seen um, and uh, the back one that really easily fitted um, I think they're about 40 45 quid on Amazon um, and for my purposes at the minute they, they do the job um, and the other thing that I've got on at the minute is these uh, specialised tyres so I upgraded from my Schwalbe uh, G1 all rounds and I, I wanted to try something with a little bit more of an aggressive tread um, I, I was debating because I do quite a bit of road riding between a lot of gravel trails but some of the gravel trails are quite aggressive um, and uh, these definitely give more grip there's definitely a compromise on rolling resistance they have got a, a kind of flatter centre tread um, and, and you know the grip for this time of year is is really really good so far but I think I probably will go back to something um, a little lighter in the better weather um, I mean at the minute as well we've got lots of thorns and stuff there's lots of hedge cutting so um, having these you can run them at a lower um, inflation rate than, than the um, Schwalbe ones so these these tyres are actually the ones that come fitted on the Specialised Diverge um, so I thought you know they're, they're probably pretty decent and they have been the other thing that I've done I've got some um, slime filled self sealing inner tubes um, I think I've possibly had one puncture that it's self sealed I lost about 20 psi on one ride um, so I think it probably has saved me one change um, but you know they have worked really really well I went on a ride yesterday through the woods and there were tons and tons of um, uh, cuttings from all the brambles so um, I was well and truly expecting even with the self sealing tubes to have to stop and fix a puncture but they've been really really good so I'm really happy with that setup at the minute I'm still sort of getting comfortable with the bike position with the new saddle uh, made a couple of tweaks with the uh, positioning and stuff I've, I've had a bit of numbness in my hands so just trying to yeah get everything kind of dialed in with that but at the minute it, it all seems to be working so I'll, I'll probably do a more in-depth um, review of the saddles um, and show you those in another video but for now that seems to work for today's instalment I was going to try and be clever and uh, take this off while I was cycling but I think I'm going to end up in a ditch if I try and cycle no under today so uh, that's it I will uh, look at try to do a video um, comparison of my saddles that I've tried and just a little bit of advice on uh, stuff that I found what you might want to consider if you're sort of having some of the same problems um, yeah I think that's it see you next time <laughs>